Jersey Mike's was awesome. It was as good a night, you know, as, as you could have. And I'm thankful for the students. They were out. They were out early. I saw the lines down the street. So very much appreciate appreciate these guys' efforts. They, you know, they sacrifice. They work hard. They prepare. Um, obviously, played a great team today. A ton of respect for Illinois. They're as good as any team in the country. They could win a national championship. And uh, you know, we played hard and, and, and played well. Uh, hoping Ron can recover quickly here. But um, sorry, he's not up here. But we had a great efforts from everyone, and we had to. And uh, another 40 minutes. Um, we have Purdue on the road next. Uh, one of the hardest venues in the country to play at with Matt Painter and a great player. So uh, we got to enjoy tonight and then we're on to the next one. Steve, uh, Brad Underwood, similar to Tom Izzo, said this is the the most his team's been out physical in a game that he can remember. How do you coach effort or how do you get effort at this level from this team? I mean, it's these guys. They, they take, you know, take a lot of pride. They've all gotten better, all these guys on the stage. and. Cliff was awesome tonight. Paul just continues to, you know, run our team. Caleb, I, I don't know what he have. It seemed like he had a hundred steals. Um, just continues to take on that role of being a great, you know, defender. But I think they're all defending and, um, you know, playing hard, and, and, and that's what we need to do. And it's a blue collar group, and, and, and they play that way. But they practice well every day. I told you guys I like this team, and you know, um, I think you're starting to see that. They get along great. They share the game. Play the right way. And um, it's, you know it's really showing. It's easy to call Cliff your most consistent player of the season. And it seems like he's getting consistently better with every game. Had a big matchup against Kofi, and Brad Underwood was very complimentary with him. Just how do you think he competed in that matchup, and just how have you seen him evolve game to game? Yeah, I mean, you know, just getting better. And I just think, you know, throw a tape on him from last year and, and look at how far he's come defensively, outstanding, and you know, you're playing an elite player. I thought we did a great job on him. He had 20 points and 10 rebounds, and I really did. Um, Cliff had to work. <coughs> Dean came in, you know, that center spot has been really good for us and um, given us all good minutes. But I think these guys, you know, they deserve all the credit. They got better. They had unbelievable summers. Every single guy came back better. And you're starting to see the work that they come in and they come ready. They come ready to practice and, you know, they prepare the right way. So, um, you know, Cliff is, Cliff is that. You just see it coming. His best days are ahead of him, too. So, Steve, Steve, what was Ron's injury? I, you know, honestly, I don't know. He hurt his hand, so we got to kind of figure that out. And he's down there with the doctors now. Is there? How would you rate the level of concern? I mean, he look look pretty. Anytime any of my players go down, I'm concerned. So, you know, um, Ron's an important part of this, but you know, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Uh, but there's nothing but obstacles when you play in this league, and you know, Ron will get the best. Our doctors are awesome. We got good people here. Teammates will help them through. You know. Through whatever we have to go through. Steve, we're seeing this every game from Caleb defensively. Former had 24 last time, and he holds him to four tonight. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about the job that he did on yet another mm -hmm. elite score? I mean, I, you know, I think he's the best defender in the league. You know, I've said that. He had a goal this summer. That was his goal. He came back with it. I knew he's capable of doing that, and he's worked really hard. He takes on challenges. Paul did a heck of a job too. They all, like our team defense was excellent. We sat down and guarded, you know, we rebounded the basketball. But, um, you know, Caleb's so active. He just does so many things. He's 6'7", he's got great length, and he anticipates, you know, but he likes the challenges of, you know, playing the best players. And, you know, that's awesome for a coach because, you know, everyone always talks about all points and, you know, that's what, Everyone, you know, it's all about that. There's so much on the other side of the ball that means winning or losing, you know. And, you know, he does all those things. And that's why, you know, we're winning and they're all kind of playing together and, and they have each other's backs on that defensive end. And he's kind of the guy that leads us. Steve, I'm talking about your bench. I mean, there's five guys in the first half. Uh, just their contribution. Yeah, I mean, you know, trust all of them. And, um, they prepared the right way too, and trying to find minutes for a couple guys too, a couple more guys because guys, you know, really done a good job in practice. Um, but we needed a lot of bodies tonight, and um, you know, I trust Mawat, and I trust Andre with some huge rebounds. Jalen can guard anybody. Dean just getting better and better, and right before all of our eyes, you know, and uh, you know, trust Oscar a lot too. Jaden Jones has been great in practice, and you know, it's just. 
you know, sometimes these guys are playing at such a high level, you know, it's, it's hard. But, you know, love well, my bench, and now with Ron, whatever that is, we're going to have to really, you know, dip into it. Steve, a couple of months ago, this team beat you by 35 points. What's changed th since then? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think there's a lot of teams in the country that get better, and we certainly have gotten better. You know, that was our first road game in, in this league. Um, <coughs> Geo Baker was not involved in that game at all. Obviously, he's got a ball for 1,500 points today, so obviously he's been a you know big player for us. But they've gotten better. They've gotten better defensively. All these guys have gotten better offensively. You know, the work that they put in, and you learn from games like that. We learned a lot from that game, and you know, I think it helped us tonight. Steve, the blackout, everyone's going to die. Who makes that call? Do you recall the players? Who makes that call? Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff. Cliff decided. Right? Paul seconded. Caleb third did it. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to win the game, so I don't get involved with that stuff. So, you know, I'm thankful that the people came, and, and you know, I'm, I'm always appreciative. They're loud, and, and they were great tonight. So, yeah, I don't I, I don't have the question asked Pat. <laughs> How do you explain the turnaround in rebounding specifically? Minus 14 last time, plus 18 this time. That's against yeah. one of the best rebounding teams in the Big Ten. Yeah, they're the best offensive rebounding team, you know, one of the best in the country. So, you know, obviously it's an emphasis when you play them. You know, great rebounding team forever. When you got a guy that big too in the lane, takes up so much space. Um, you know, but it was team. You know, it started with Cliff, but everyone stuck their nose in and everyone had to, you know, dig a few out. And, you know, I just thought we were real focused on that. Every time out, we were talking about it. And at halftime, you know, um, it's a recipe for winning. You know, if you can rebound, you know, it helps you in a lot of ways. Steve, they cut the gap a little bit early in the second half, and then Cliff had that ridiculous reverse alley -oop. I mean, is that something you taught him? <laughs> I, don't know if you, I don't know if you teach that. I, I couldn't jump that high, so. Um, no, I mean, Cliff does some things, you know, in practice, and he can do some special stuff. A great, you know, Reed Paul does a great job finding them. Caleb does too, Geo. They all, they all find him. He's getting better and better. So, um, but he can do those kind of things that kind of makes him look routine sometimes. And you say, boy, it's not like, there's not a lot of people that can do those kind of things. So, but, but one thing Cliff does, Cliff works, watches film after games with me. He, like, he, he you know, he works at being good, and um, you know he's gotten better, and, and his work is showing the results on the court. Steve, I know you guys told me about game. You guys are a game in first place in the Big Ten. Yeah. What Purdue? Yeah, we got to go to Purdue. How tough this place in the league? And I don't know what they're ranked third in the country, fourth, where are they? Yeah. Down yeah, so they were one at one point in time, so. Just gonna go there and be well prepared for that game and let everyone else talk and do all that stuff that doesn't matter. Steve, do you think this is a tournament team right now? I mean, we'll know on March 13th, right? Uh, it's the only day that it matters. So I think we can play anybody. Um, we can play anybody, any place, and we can win games in any tournament. Um, that's what I do think. All right, guys. Appreciate you very much coming. Thank you.